Hey guys, Matt from Awesome Toy Blog here. Just a quick introduction to this video because the start is a bit abrupt. This is a San Diego Comic Con booth walkthrough for Inesco. This is their first San Diego Comic Con. If you aren't familiar with Inesco, they are makers of giftware, which means collectible statues, Christmas ornaments, goblets, all sorts of houseware stuff. What they've brought to the show is a collection of their uh, more pop culture type collectibles. Some really great stuff across Harry Potter. Disney, and some really awesome Elvira items. So give the video a watch. Thanks so much. So this is our uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter collection here. And we have some dark arts into all of the, you know, most of the houses here that are represented at Hogwarts. And UNESCO is really known for its, um, you know, not only its poses, but the scenic elements that are added to these uh, products. And I think that the fans really appreciate not only the detail that goes into those, but also just the, uh, the scenic elements that help tell the story. Yeah, it really builds it out a little bit more than just having a simple statue of a figure. Yeah. You have a little bit of the world with it. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, uh, coming up in January, we're going to be releasing uh, even more additional scenic elements. Like, So if you have these on your bookshelf, then we're going to be having uh, like some gothic arches in the background, oh, some pillars of fire. So it'll really be able to uh, tell the Harry Potter story on your own shelves in your home. Some of the, the key players here, we have Hermione, we have uh, Sirius Black, Remus Lupin, and it's really been interesting to see the uh, Comic-Con crowd and how they react to some of the people that, you know, characters in Harry Potter that are always represented yes. in collectibles, you know, they're able to find their favorites at UNESCO uh, Studios. So these are our goblets, these are one of our best sellers. Um, it's a really affordable price point. Uh, these are all about $45, and it's a really good um, collectible for, for the Harry Potter fans. Gives you something to drink your wine out Absolutely. while you watch the movies, right? Absolutely. A nice big pour. Yeah, so everything that you're seeing here is all cast in resin. It's all hand-painted. Um, a lot of this is sculpted in Burbank, California, and we do a master paint uh, in Burbank, California as well before it goes out to the master paint. So you really do tightly controlled uh, QC on all of Very cool. They're coming in 2024. They're going to be introduced in January and we'll start shipping in August of 2024. These are our Patrona series. We have Harry, Ron, and Hermione and with their uh, Patronuses. Right like this. So these are illuminated pieces. They're cast in clear frosted resin. And each of them comes with an LED module that will give the, uh, the illuminated Patronus an extra ma magical look in the background. So this is our DC Couture de Force collection here. Um, so we have Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Black Canary, which has actually been a really uh, strong seller because there's not a lot of her yeah, in the market. Yeah, something a little bit different. Something a little bit different. And so part of the Couture de Force program is that we're inspired by the original outfits, costumes of these characters, but they're done in a really high-end couture look. And so it's it's nice to see these characters that you know are represented looking so similar all the time yep. and something new and exciting. Yeah, it's similar to the bombshell lines, but yes. a little bit higher fashion than yeah. even a bombshell. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. And then a Disney favorite. Yes, Disney favorite, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, always, always. <laughs> So this piece is actually really special. It's unfortunately it's not plugged in right now, but this is one of our levitation lines, and so it's actually a reverse magnet. Once you plug it in, and so Zero will actually float. Oh, he, he just hovers. Um, and so we have some of our goblets in the background here. These are always a strong seller for us. And the Jack and Sally here are the botanical and sort of force collection continue. Okay. And then continuing with some Disney showcase stuff here, we have. Um, these are actually Grant and Jester Disney Showcase. These are our mini figs. And then we have Jack and Sally in their uh, Halloween dance. And then continuing the Couture de Force line, we have Jack and Sally in their ballroom uh, extravaganza outfits. And an Oogie Boogie in the background there is highlighted. We've gotten a lot of positive comments on the Oogie Boogie. Apparently there's not always a lot of there's them in the There's not a ton of Oogie Boogie out it. there. This is Elvira. We all know Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. This is a beautiful piece that we have here. We're actually uh, raffling this piece off. 
here at Comic Con. We think it's a nice introduction to not only our quality, but just the breadth of licenses that we have that we can show off. And she's just spectacular. So. This is a gorgeous piece. And so we have more Elvira down here. We have a goblet, and then also our Elvira Couture de Force. Same with her, she's not in her traditional black gown. She's in a little bit of a different. She does have her signature dagger on her. And just one little rhinestone. One little rhinestone, a little bit of bling for her. And in the background there, you can see the ornaments. And those are gonna be coming, uh, released in January 24 to ship later in 24. Very nice. So we have some more Disney Showcase on the bottom here. Haunted Mansion, which is, um, not always allowed to be done by Disney because of, you know, it's in the park, but we did have permission to produce this gorgeous light lit up statue. Um, we have the Mahounted Mansion Goblet in the background as well. Oh, even with the little clock from yeah, the hallway yeah. as, as the, as the stem. Yeah. yeah, we have nice little details and homages to, to uh, all of the elements of Haunted Mansion. This is Maleficent. She's our D100 facet piece, and she is very spectacular. She has an LED that color changes between white, purple, and green. And that should be rotating, and then some of her companion pieces. We have Maleficent as dragon, and then the Maleficent goblet. So we're going to start in with some Disney showcase. Uh, we have our goblets, princess goblets, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, and Cinderella. And then the always popular and evergreen stitch. These little board shirts there, and the little brown dress for stitch bunnies. So cute. This is a uh, pineapple stitch goblet. Nice. Crawling up the side there. And then our Nomming bookends are one of the most popular to be featured at the show. Everyone loves them. The Little Mermaid is just been re released, and we're featuring a bunch of product here that. Uh, of the animated version. And so we have our water globes, which is a beautiful kind of new iteration of a water ball. And the Ursula and sort of villains and, and princesses goblet. And some special little pieces here, Eric and Ariel, and then the Ariel splash scene. And uh, the water lanterns, they're, they're basically circulating that around, right? Yes. So it's always going to be sort of have that glimmer. It's right? always going to have that glimmer. You don't have so to pick it up and shake it. You don't have to pick it. it up and shake it. So this is like the newest iteration of a snow globe. It's yep. a water globe. And it just has a light inside and a constant blower. So it's always sparkling. Very cool. And we have these really kind of cool silhouettes in there. All right, and down here we have our Jessica Rabbit. This is our last chance to get Jessica Rabbit. Uh, these are our Hocus Pocus goblets fashioned in the uh, dresses of each of the characters, Sarah, Winifred, and Mary. And they say their little uh, sayings on the bottom there. They smell children. Come up, come up, come up. <laughs> and why was I cursed with such idiot sisters? <laughs> I have three sisters and I'm buying each of them one. And we have our stitch facets, which is a beautiful little light up acrylic faceted gem piece. And our 12 inch Big Fig Mickey. Very cool. We are the Disney 100. This is a really beautiful collection that we, our team in Burbank just worked hard on. And we're really excited to see how beautiful it all came out. So this is a D100 goblet. This is a very special Disney 100 tink with castles. You can see her flying off the magic there, really beautiful. And then this is one of the series of the characters with the platinum icons. This is Cinderella and her shoe. She's running down the staircase. Poison apple. She's got some platinum elements there. And then there's tea coming off of her little magical fairy dust, pixie dust. And this piece, this is kind of the uh, one of the more spectacular pieces we've done recently. This is Walt and Mickey through the ages celebrating Disney's 100 years of wonder. And so it kind of features Walt Disney and the and. Mickey in different iterations going through the generations of, of the Disney 100 Years of Wonder. And then wrapping up the Disney 100 uh, collection with the characters with their platinum icons, we have Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, and then Minnie.
Tiffany with her iconic bow in platinum. And we have Tiana with her lily pad. And then Alice spilling out of her teacup. Very cool. And that's it. That is our Disney 100 collection. It's been very exciting to see all of this come to fruition. Again, the team's been working incredibly hard. And it's been wonderful to see like the response that we've gotten from a lot of this beautiful product. Not only from us, but from Disney themselves. Cool, this is a great lineup of products and I really thank you for your time here at Comic-Con.